Good morning, Southern California, AM 1220 KHTS show. Spread Arnold on the Santa Clarita Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight. I'm joined by Cynthia Zamborski. I get yes. that. And she's with Perfect Paw Prints. Yes. Um, very involved in really making your dog look beautiful, the health care of your dog, and as far as I'm concerned, when you, when you properly groom the dog. Tell us about Perfect Paw Prints. Yeah, about two years ago or so, I decided I wanted to do something for my pets because every time I'd come home, that's what would make me happy would be my pets. So I'm like, why don't I do something for them? So I decided to learn how to be a certified groomer, and then I started it. And I actually was looking in for a truck that was solar powered because we're in California. The mm -hmm. easiest thing to do is solar power and not plug into people's houses because it's, you know, you're, you're coming out as a convenience. You don't want to inconvenience them by plugging in. Mm -hmm. So, and it's been great. I've gotten a lot of clients. My dogs love it every month. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's great. So you come out to their location, yes. uh, the dog owner's um, location, and you, uh, you, you groom them. Tell us about that process. Okay. So I either pull up into the driveways or right outside the street, and I take the dogs from the, gr from the owners, put them in, and I start the whole process. Either I do the bath package for them or I'll do the haircut package. And then it's also convenient for the older dogs because we'll have a ramp that goes in because it's hard for senior dogs to actually get into a car, drive all the way to the groomers, and then sit in a crate for like hours before they get groomed. So it's so much convenience for them. And the owners can come in and look at them. I've had a few that stand there and actually love the fact that they can see their dogs and the dogs love that they can see their house. Mm -hmm. So it's a calmer environment. Tell us about the grooming process though, actually. Um you, not only you cut them, you wash them. T tell us about that process. Is it very similar to uh, an adult getting a haircut? Uh, kind of. So I would bring them in. I've put them into the bathtub. You know, I do the whole shampoo first, and mm -hmm. then we do... Do they like that? Oh, they actually do. It's warm water, so they enjoy <laughs> it completely. So it's a... Versus a hose on the side yard. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so it's a good pressure for them, so they're just used to it. And then they get, like, the oatmeal conditioner. And we actually do either a blueberry or cranberry facial, which they love. It's like an extra scent in their face, and that distracts them from what's going on. And a lot of them actually start licking their own face. <laughs> so it's like they're going to start eating themselves. Yeah. Uh, we clip their nails. We brush their teeth. A lot of the dogs need their anal glands mm -hmm. expressed because they start scooting on the ground. Um, we'll go ahead, if they're doing a deshedding treatment, we'll go ahead and brush them while they have the shampoo or the conditioner on. And then we wash them off, dry them, and then dry them with the blow dryer. And then after that, if it's a haircut, we'll go ahead and trim their hair, you know, with the clippers and the scissors. And then we do the final picture and up to the client. Yeah, So that's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, only for dogs? No, we actually do cats as well. A lot of people. Oh, boy, trying to wash <laughs> a cat. Can you imagine that? You would think, but cats are actually used to it. They're supposed to be, like, groomed like dogs once a month. A lot of the clients don't understand that with cats. They think... They lick themselves. Or How do you themselves? get them together? You know, you talk about kids <laughs> and hurting cats, right? Yeah. <laughs> Getting a cat to get in and get wet. <laughs> and get wet. What you don't know is when you wet them and they're completely soaked and their hair is holding them down, they know they can't go anywhere. Hmm. So they're just, they'll cry, but they know hey, if they let you do it, it'll be done faster. Right. And, and you also uh, provide for senior dogs. Yes, I do. Hmm. We have a treatment we call mud treatment. I don't think anybody else is doing it. They actually get a 10-minute massage with mud on their joints mm -hmm. that actually helps them. They actually start running out of the truck. <laughs> so it's it's really nice, and I'm, I'm glad we Well, they're not running that. out of the truck because they want to no, get no, out. No, no, no. They're, they're, they're excited out, they're because excited. they can move. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's clarify that. Because <laughs> they can move now. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Those who want to reach out to you, because um, obviously it's not a location that you come to them. Right. How can how can the listeners and or people watching on hometownstation.com find out more about you? Uh, you can either give us a call at 661-313-2803, or you can email us at info at perfectpawprints. That's P-U-R-R-F-E-C-T pawprints.com. Very, very good. Cynthia, thank you. Oh, thank Thanks you. for coming. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Cynthia Samborski from Perfect Paw Prints. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Santa Cruz Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight. This is your host, Fred Arnold, on AM 1220 KHTS.